With rusted valves and a manifold pipe so corroded the brackets are totally disintegrated, we need a new manifold and control valve assembly. There are many barbecues that don't have replacement control valves or a manifold available. Before removing the old corroded parts, we'll mark and measure each control valve and mounting bracket position for the replacement. We're wrapping 1 8 piping with Teflon tape and our valves have 1 8 pipe thread. The piping allows us to place a female T connection where the valves will be installed in the custom manifold. On the end, we'll attach a 90 degree adapter for the gas connection. With the manifold assembled, check, double check, triple check the valve position so valves are straight. Controls must insert straight into the burners. With the sizing exact, we'll add the control valves and gas line to install the new manifold pipe. For support, we're first arranging the rotisserie safety button, which attaches to the firewall, to the control panel, and to the manifold. This will hold the controls in place. Burners slide onto the orifice at the tip of the valve and lock in to the back of the firebox so the manifold is held in place. Once the manifold is connected to the gas line, burners, rotisserie, and any brackets we choose to use, we test for leaks and then for gas flow by igniting the burners. Let the burners run for a while to make any adjustment to the valve and air shutters. In this grill, we have 46,000 BTUs divided into two burners with near-perfect flames. 